So as I sit here as this massive shit fest of a storm is happening outside, I wanted to make uh, today's video on, do you guys ever get bored of Yu-Gi-Oh? Now it's kind of a touch and go kind of topic. I mean, it's kind of ironic that a Yu-Gi-Tuber would get bored of Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, now this isn't one of those, I'm going to quit Yu-Gi-Oh, it's not one of those, I'm going to take a break kind of things, it's just you ever just like get frustrated with the game. I mean, I haven't been able to successfully play gadgets in a year now. I mean, I do enjoy playing Evil Storm. I do enjoy playing Gem Knights. I mean, to a lesser extent, Gem Knights are the less competitive of those three particular decks. And I mean, I can only really play Evil Storm if I want to play competitively right now. Now, the thing that keeps me interested in this particular game is all this Japanese release information. Um, you know, playing a deck three to four months before its release um, usually gets my competitive vibe going, um, gets my creative vibe going because I can start to get the ideas for the deck, master the deck before it comes out or at least, you know, get a feel of the deck. Um, right now I'm really liking Quilpoth, um, but in the current TCG game, like, I have no care for this game whatsoever. Uh, Had is, like, the most entertaining deck I find fun out of just because it's anti-meta. I don't currently have a good locals for Yu-Gi-Oh, which really sucks. I think the closest good locals is, like, an hour away, and that's not something I want to do every week. So, playing competitive Yu-Gi-Oh like I used to be able to on every Sunday uh, kind of disappeared for the time being, so that kind of sucks. Um, so, no good locals. The format's kind of shit. I am looking forward to Gen Con. Uh, we will have a new ban list for it. It's going to be like the one event um, where it'll be different ban list. Uh, Pendulum structure deck will be out. I mean, not like that really matters. Let's be realistic here. Um, but the thing is, uh, we will have a chance to get a new format, you know, test out Pendulums and the new format. Uh, get a grip on the new rules before shadows and things like that kind of come out and ruin the fucking format. Um, I'm definitely looking forward to shadows. Don't get me wrong. Um, it's just their imbalance makes me want to play Evil Swarm more. I understand shadows are fun and good and all that fun fancy stuff, but I mean it is what it is. So you guys ever just get frustrated with this game? I mean, like I said, there's always all these nice, cool new things coming out. I mean, it draws your attention in. I mean, like, I'm interested in Quilpoth, but without, like, a competitive locals or anything, I would just rather go drive 45 minutes to play Vanguard at the 18-man locals than drive an hour to an hour and a half to fucking play Yu-Gi-Oh! on a Thursday night. Just saying. So, that's what it is. I mean, I know a lot of other players are in this situation. I know a lot of players are, like, just play competitively online, but it's not much point. I mean... I asked for when I will ever get back on the gadget train. Um, I don't know. Um, I do want to play the deck with pendulums. I'm kind of waiting for a good generic machine pendulum. It's going to happen eventually. They made Girgian X. Um, I don't see why it wouldn't happen. They made the Cap Curries. I hope the Quilpoth isn't the answer to this. Uh, the Quilpoth, if you guys don't know, they're kind of like the Evangelion type of theme. I'm really looking forward to them just because like their art and like the style in which they operate is really cool. Um, I mean, we've only got five monsters so far, but give it time. Uh, once uh, next Challengers comes out, we'll have a lot more information. So, QQ, Robbie Cool, QQ, Cry More Faggot. Um, it's going to be the response I'm probably going to get. But, I mean, I don't know. It's just one of those things that's like... What do you do? How do you keep interest in a game that is horribly imbalanced after playing like Wise and Vanguard? You, you'll start to see uh, how Yugi can be so imbalanced. But I mean, it's not like I'm quitting. I'm just kind of stepping back a little bit. I mean, my friends in my Skype call play Yu-Gi-Oh all the time. So I mean, I'm all, right now I'm hearing Light Sword and Rose, just like the best fucking deck ever. I mean, like, I'm just paying attention in the background, you know, listening to them talk about, you know, side deck choices, things like that. So, I mean, it's not like I don't get slapped in the face with competitive knowledge. It's just whether or not it's inadvertently accepted for the time being, I guess is the best way to say it. Lag. So, guys, leave a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think about Jugia. And I'm out. I'm out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please thumbs up this video to show your support. And please check out Vancole40 for Cardfight Vanguard. 
Mcole Games for miscellaneous trading card games, and No Limit Gaming for a brand new series of Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. Thanks for watching.